I'm Bob and I like to make stuff. Today we're gonna take a tool case from Harbor Freight and customize it to hold a drone. So this week I was cleaning up my shop and trying to get rid of some stuff that I didn't need anymore and I found this big case from a bandsaw that I have. It's a nice big hard plastic case and I don't really want to toss it or recycle it so I'm going to try to come up with another use for it. And for a while now I've been wanting to make a new case for my drone. The drone comes with a nice foam case and it works pretty well for what's included but if you want to bring anything else along with it you really have no space to do it. When I'm flying my drone I use an iPad on top of the controller and there's no place in this case to hold it or any of the other extra stuff I want to add. So we're going to try to use that hard case from Harbor Freight and try to make a drone case out of it. I don't know if it'll work because it's just barely tall enough so let's give it a shot and see what we can do. Most tool cases, this one included, have an outer shell and an inner liner. I used a cutoff wheel on my Dremel tool to separate the two pieces. This worked pretty well for most of the straight parts, but the curves in the corners were a little bit messy. I ended up using a knife to cut some of the curved sections out, so I just cut all the long straight sections with the Dremel tool. This stuff gets everywhere if you do this, make sure you're wearing a respirator. These came out pretty easily for the most part, but they were melted to the outer section in some spots. I cut out the big sections with the cutoff tool and then just tore out what I could and came back with a sharp knife to clean up any excess pieces. Most of the inside of the shell is going to get covered up so as long as it's flush it doesn't really have to be very pretty. Next I just did some rough layout for where I thought everything would fit, just making sure that I had enough space and this wasn't a wasted project. I had a pretty good idea of where everything went so I measured the inside of the area and then cut out this Kaizen foam. I'm not sponsored by these guys or anything, but it's a really cool product for filling cases like this or toolboxes. I got one really thick piece here and so I had to take several cuts to get all the way through it. I set it over where the handle was and roughly marked that shape, then marked the curves and the corners and cut those off with a regular utility knife. The best way to cut thick material like this is to make a bunch of shallow cuts until you get all the way through. I did an okay job at that, but I probably could have done better. I set the drone in place and used a long nose marker to mark its footprint. Then I started cutting that outline out with a smaller blade. With a smaller blade like this, you can get in tighter corners, and so I made really shallow cuts around this entire outline to get the first layer of this material off. This foam is built up in layers, so depending on how deep you cut, you can kind of tear out a layer at a time. You don't have to go all the way through it. This is great for supporting something shaped like a drone because, for instance, the camera doesn't go all the way to the floor like the feet do. That area doesn't have to be cut as far down as the feet. I continued to cut and peel out layers and push the drone down a little bit further each time and check the measurements. As it went deeper, I had to mark out sections and clear out a little bit of area to make sure the camera fit, but it's nice to be able to do this as you push it in and it's a really nice fit once you get it all the way down there. There was a bevel around the edge of this case and it was stopping the foam from going all the way down. So I just flipped the foam over, cut a similar bevel on all the edges and pushed it back in. This made it set flush with the bottom and it made it fit a lot nicer. This piece of foam was for the footprint of the drone but there was still a lot of area above that so I cut another section that was about the same size that would end up going on top of the piece that I had just cut. I stacked these together and traced the cutout that I would made onto the new piece just as a reference point. Then I cut out a rectangle to make sure that the drone could pass through this top layer and sit into the footprint on the bottom. When you stack these two pieces together, it holds it really nicely. I laid out where the two batteries and the controller would go and then just followed the same process, cutting out layers and pulling them out just to make sure that the hole was deep enough for the batteries to set flush on the bottom and for the controller to go all the way in. I even did the same thing for the iPad. The only real difference here was that it was such a thin cut that I just cut through the first layer of foam, pulled it out, and then made some marks on the bottom layer so that I could cut it separately. I just scored it and got it deep enough to tear out the entire thing. This gave it enough space for the iPad to fit all the way down. Once again, I did essentially the same thing by tracing the power supply for the charger and cutting out that section just deep enough for it to be able to sit down flush with the top of this piece of foam. There's cables coming out of the top and the bottom of this charger, and so I wasn't worried about those yet, I just wanted this piece to sit in place. I used a ruler to cut out a really large section in the remaining area here. And this is going to be for all the other stuff that needs to be stored, like the extra rotors and any other things that I need to toss in. I cut this section pretty deep so there was a lot of extra storage on this side, and then I made some small channels to go over so that the wires from the charger could drop into this area as well. But then I had to keep all these pieces in place. 
so I took another scrap of foam and cut a block that would fit down inside this to make up the difference. I just put some spray adhesive on the back of this and stuck it to the top section. I also had a really thin piece of this foam, so I cut a plate just to cover the rest of the section to protect the top of the drone when it was in the case. I closed it up and everything stayed in place really well. The last thing was to make it not say Chicago Electric on it. I had some acrylic laying around, so I cut out a very small section that was just a little bit larger than the name, and then cut out some silly text on my vinyl cutter. I just applied that, and then I had to glue it on. I did this with some 5-minute two-part epoxy, mixed it up, and just laid it over the top of the letters that were already on the case. I just set the sign in place and held it until the epoxy started to grab, and once I knew it wasn't going to move, I laid some paper towels over it so it wouldn't get scratched up, and then just put a box on it just to hold it there while it dried. After about five minutes, it was done. The plastic on this particular case, and I would imagine everything from Harbor Freight, is really, really thin. This is not a good replacement for a full flight case. If you're gonna be traveling a lot with your drone, this is not the right material. But for storing this equipment in my shop and taking it places around town, this is a perfect solution. And basically it was free because I had already purchased the tool that went in here originally. Cutting the foam was a little bit harder than I thought it was gonna be, not physically hard to cut, but to get precise straight cuts. With a little bit more practice, I'm sure that I could get really nice cutouts that fit exactly, but functionally it works as it is. I think the key is to hold the blade perpendicular to the material and not try to cut too deep in a single cut. It's better to make a short cut and then go a little bit deeper and a little bit deeper until you get to the depth that you want. The company that makes this foam actually has several videos on their channel that talk about the best methods for cutting them, so if you're gonna do something like this, go watch theirs because they'll give you tons of tips and tricks. Even if you don't need a case for your drone, if you've bought tools, you probably have a lot of these cases and you can use them for all sorts of stuff. I've seen several projects recently online where people have made mobile electronic stations on the inside of them. You can use them for all sorts of stuff. Generally in my shop they just end up taking space and so now I'm going to try to find more uses for them. There's really not a whole lot to this project. It's really just clearing out the case, cutting the foam and putting in. The little sign I put on top was just for fun just because I like to do stuff like that but it's totally not necessary. But I do hope you like this project. I'd love to know if you've done some cool thing with the tool case before. Let me know down in the comments. I've got lots of other projects of all different types that you might be interested in, so be sure to check those out. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not. But even if you are subscribed, go down and hit the bell so you get notified as soon as I upload a video. That's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.